Hello, so I thought I would show you <laughs> uh, yet again another haul. So uh, I went to Hobby Lobby to return something and they were having 30% off sale on their craft paint. So I picked up a couple colors. Blue is new to me. And so I realized that I like two types of blue. I like really dark, deep blue and I like teal blue, turquoise, turquoise blue. But those are like my blues. <laughs> so I got those. I also picked up um, Color Flash released some new colors. So I have like almost the full set of the original colors. I'll just show them to you quickly. That's what I have. And so that's what I have. And I recently discovered by way of Jackie that they had new colors released. And so I went on the hunt and only found one. There are at least three others that I don't have. I want the raspberry and the plum and the dragon something, but I did find the or orchid. So it is different than the pink and we will see how it's different. And I thought that this blue violet was a new color, but I already had it. So nevertheless, now I have two. Okay. And then as I was about to leave, I noticed these Tattered Angels Color Wash Tint, one step water-based tint for natural surfaces. This is called Mimosa. Now, I'm a jelly plate girl. So let's just see what we can do on the jelly plate, even though that's not what it's intended for, right? You just gotta try it out. So I got this color and I got a bunch of other colors. Um, there were $2.99 and so I got red wine, mimosa. It's like saying it, right? I got I got rose gold. That's a classic. I got the lime cordial. This is like a green. And I got another green. This is not it. I got old bronze. I got Caribbean Mist. Now, you're probably like, Rachel, how do you know you even liked me before you got all the colors? I don't, but <laughs> they only had one. They had uh, like two of each in the set available. And so I was like, well, let's just get them and, and hopefully we like them. So that's the set that I got. Okay, so let's do a little experiment. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Apparently, apparently the bag keeps going. I got two greens. So I got uh, Lime, Cordell, and this don't you hate people that can't say the words and so they try to butcher them so i'm not even going to try it but that's what it is it's mm -hmm, you can see it <laughs> and i got the whitewash now what i was thinking when i got them was wow i wonder what they look like on the plate but then i was also wondering if we could um like whitewash some paper some like onion skin so we'll try that too so let's just try the onion skin experiment first so this paper is onion skin paper and it is cut down to like a five by seven. And what I did before this phase was I took the onion skin and I stamped with stays on ink to create these like textbook pages. But what I want to know is can I take one of these, take some of these and wash the paper with them. So let's just see and I think we'll go that looks like a normal palette of Rachel's doesn't it <laughs> so I'm going to take yep that's my normal go-to palette I'm going to take this paper and I'm pausing because my surface my jelly plate is so sticky that I need something harder which to work on it. So I'll just scoop my plate over for a minute just so that we can do this little experiment. So I have a handy dandy credit card. I have, we're going to take the Caribbean Mist first. It looks like it's going to be like a teal color. I'm going to put a little dot, oops, I was a lot of dots, on my, on my pad here. And it's very water based. Uh -huh, I thought so. It would just kind of go on and we can use it to quickly add some color. Now, you see it moves very well across my plate. It's just kind of moving on the plate. 
And I'm going to try real quick just to pick it up. Uh -huh. So it, it is. It's just a wash. It's a very fluid wash. And uh, quickly gives the paper some color, right? N nothing too spectacular. <laughs> but it was quick color onto the paper. Now, could I get the same effect another way? Yes, I could easily get this with like a, um, hmm, what do you call that? Um, you know, like your alcohol inks or even with a, uh, which is what I would have normally done, just use a distress spray or something. For $2.99, good coverage. It's very wet and it covered the page really well. It gave it some color. So we'll just put this one away and I'm gonna try to color this one here. So let's try something else. Let's see if we can literally, it's very fluid, right? Like very fluid. Um, it's very fluid. So let's try something else here. Let's see if we can, because it's so fluid. Let's see if we can, I don't want to, um, I mean, why not? Normally I, I could just spray through here, right? That's what I would normally do. I would spray through here. I think this would really work better if I had something. It's not doing bad though, right? It's not doing bad, but it's not doing what I'm thinking, what I really want it to do. It's going on here, but it's, it's going on kind of loosey-goosey. So what I wanna know is can I use this as a stamp? It's very fluid. When I say it's fluid, it's downright runny. But it was a good stamp, which is very interesting. It was a very good stamp. Now, you really didn't get the stencil, not at all. But that's a good coverage on it. So let's just see if we can move this around a little. Not really. Okay. But it does move, and I, I am impressed with it. I think it would probably be really good as a mix in something. I think it would be really good as a mix in something. Uh -huh. It goes on well with the brayer. Now, that's interesting. It goes better on with the brayer than it does with the credit card. With the brayer, it just kind of rolls on. Very wet though, I mean extremely wet. Extremely wet. To the point where, oops, we gotta be careful. I think I could probably take this very thick onion skin, put it down, and transfer some of the moisture because it's very wet. A little bit of that paint goes a long way. Okay, let's see what happens. Huh, now that's pretty. And that's pretty, huh? All right, so we'll just put these over here, let them dry. So I got a lot of these and we will just keep playing with them. Like I bet they go well in a paint, okay? So let's just see, we get some substance in here. We bought a new paint and that is this brushed rose gold. So why not, right? Let's just put that in there with, the, with that red liquidy wash a lot of paint on my on my thing so now it's very runny Ooh, grotesque <laughs> well, we'll just grab some paper here again these are experiments we're not trying to create art <laughs> i am experimenting here i just want to see what this does. And so I'm gonna use it like a, a stamp. Put it down, take it up, take it up. Uh-huh. I'm gonna see this by itself. 
very pretty. Over here I'm using my nine or it's a long one. It's one of those um, Ranger, the long one. I use it like a stamp. And we're just going to get some marks in here. Do the, we'll do the inverse of that and put that here. We'll put it on to take off. That's the rose gold. So that's that rose gold bright brushed metal. It's very pretty. And what's what has it also has some of this mimosa and some of this red wine in it. It's very pretty. And then I have some old, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I have some old in there. And let's see what else do we get. So we got that and we got or orchid is our new color. This orchid flash. And this is a very pink spread and I be the anti-pink girl so we're having a good time over here playing this pink like mm -hmm. don't worry I'm about to pick up some turquoise in a minute because you know we don't do we don't do this pink it's like mm -mm, y'all tripping so we're just gonna put this this cupcake tray that's what this is the office had cupcakes and they got to partake in the cupcake but I found this print and I was like what gotta have it so just to make sure that I can get that print, I'm going to go this way as opposed to the other way. Very gonna be very flat. I'm a very color girl, so we're just gonna play along. Ooh, that pink is pretty, huh? Yeah, that pink is pretty. Mm. Okay, so now in my in my color wheel, I am with the pink and I'm with the, like a coral. And me being me, I gotta come. I need to come, right? Like. Ooh, can we go, can we get a contrast color? So we will get a contrast color and we're gonna go with this mermaid tail. Of course we are. <laughs> it's amazing how many shades of turquoise you can have, right? Like I've got a lot of turquoise. So we're gonna take that one. I'm gonna drop a little of this Caribbean mist in here. I'm gonna drop a little couple drops. I'm assuming that it'll, it'll probably kind of make it like a fluid, right? And then we're going to add a little of this aqua flash. All right, so now we have made a concoction. And we're just going to, ooh, that's real runny. Mm -hmm. Nice. It, it gives it the flow of kind of like your high flow almost, almost like a high flow, like the golden high flow. It's that loosey goosey. And I am going to take, what did I do with it? Anybody see it? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Boom, boom. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Really? Don't you love when the stencil just get up and walk away? There we go. I'm going to give me some. Okay, so let's think about this. I... I'm going to do it like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to put this kind of over the middle here. I'm gonna pick up this turquoise, give me some color. Uh, I probably probably shouldn't have put it directly in the center, but it's very pretty. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Not flat, which is cool. And we're gonna take one of these, one of these here, pull up some pieces on it so we can have some dimension. It's nothing like worse than a flat jelly plate. Oh, pretty, pretty. Okay, so we have like some dry spots over here. I'm going to try to just lift up some pieces. Uh -huh. Balance out my, my distribution of turquoise. Now, I never know if I'm going to use a piece in its totality or if I'm going to cut it up. So I try to make sure that if I want to later on, I could use it as an individual piece. And the way I do that is by making sure that I have enough for the eye to move around. Now, there's clearly a demarcate, you know, marks where the 
thing went and I'm and I'm dull right here. And I still have some stuff on my plate here. So I'm gonna give this one because because I work on multiple prints, all these pieces at some point could work together, right? Because they're all on the same color palette. They all use the same stencils in a way. Ooh, it's turned out very nice. And all I am doing right now is just picking up some color off of this while it's still wet. Now I will tell you what's interesting is that um, this stuff here seems to have extended the life of, of, of this paint. Like it's not drying super fast. Normally by now, I'd be kind of out of luck because I have pulled this three times and I'd be like, oh well, I'll forget it the next time. But I think for some reason that that wash must be slow drying because I am still able to pull color up on this piece of paper, which is fascinating. So that's probably a plus for this stuff is that if you want to take a paint and let it extend its life a little bit, you put a little of that in your paint mix and you can extend the life so i got this piece and you're probably like rachel that's really not but you gotta you gotta look past that and see <laughs> gotta see into it and i got this one right and then we did this pool right so mermaid teal is a hit i like it and the rose gold was nice these were these were nice very nice and what else do we want to do that we got? So I did get some other blues and I don't know. Mm. So right now what I would do with this is I'm gonna go with some black and white and make some marks. We don't have to keep it flat. We can add something to it. Let's see, so in our color we got orange and we got basically we got orange and blue there. Um, contrast colors and we can and we have the pink which is a complement to the orange it's right next to it kind of on the color wheel so we could we could risk it and go with a, a, a go go next to the pink go closer to the original pink. Mm -hmm. and go closer to it. And let's get, um, what do we have handy? It's all about what's handy. Not a lot is handy. Not a lot is handy here. So a lot going on, right? But it's pretty, so why not, right? Why not? I am telling myself that I should have had all this stuff ready. I did not. So now, I don't wanna do that. I want a, um, I'm looking for a, you guys know what that means, right? I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking for my pink daubers. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Give me a minute, just walking away, looking for something to stencil through my paint with. I have stencil brushes somewhere. Alrighty, so we'll just use this stencil brush here. You see how I'm using my stencil, my plate like it is I don't really like flat colors. Oh, we also wanted to try this, right? Yeah, yeah, let's try this too. So we're gonna try this um, Dragon Glaze. This one goes red, violet, shift. Gold, red, violet, shift. I mean, why not, right? Let's just put a little dot in there and see what happens, right? We're just gonna, we're just gonna see what happens here. You're probably not gonna be able to see it because I put this thing right on something that was already pink. But begin, because we're experimenting, it doesn't really matter. We're not trying to make a masterpiece. We are, oh, <laughs> 
we are trying to see how this stuff works. I'm gonna go this way. I don't really have a lot left. So what did we had? We had the pink flash, if I remember correctly. I know I just did it right, but I don't remember. I had the pink flash, and then I put some of the gold red violet, a squirt of that in there, and then I just kind of mixed it up. Okay. And then we'll do this again over here. Only got this little brush. I prefer, honestly, a makeup brush, but couldn't find it, so we're gonna go with a stencil brush and just be happy with it. Okay, we got this little peacock stencil. Uh huh. It's nice. Now, I don't think you can see it, but see how it's shifting? Oh, that's pretty cool. So let's just see on if we can see it by itself on like a white, what it does. Now, I think what you're supposed to do, right? Like if you read the box or the container, comes in a little tin. You read the container, the container basically says it's a glaze on top, meaning it's supposed to go on top of color. What I did was I mixed it in the color. And can I just say that that is beautiful? OMG. Okay, that's really pretty. <laughs> Look, that's really pretty. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and put it on here too, since we're all in the family here. I'm kind of out though, but we'll see if we can get enough on here just to just to give it a subtle kind of out. I am kind of out. Um, I'm really just trying to use up my material. Oh, huh? Very nice. Very nice. So I I survey says that this is really cool, um, really cool. It definitely enhances this pink flash. It definitely gives it an enhancement. When you look at it in the, okay, that's really cool. Hmm. Okay, so I just wanted to share my purchases. I purchased these items today along with these little color washes and that's what we use today and so they were very pretty I hope you enjoyed it now this piece is not finished I'm gonna put some marks and stamps and probably add some text text stamps to give it kind of a, a look but for the purposes of our experimentation I think we are complete Hope you enjoyed this video. It is a pleasure being back. I look forward to many more videos. Please like and subscribe and tell me what you've been up to and what products you want to try. How pretty is that? Right, right there. Okay. <laughs> Bye.